Hi, I'm Natalie Eve Marquis. I'm a, an acrylic mixed media artist uh, based in the Seacoast, New Hampshire area. And I thought I would jump in and, uh, well, not jump in because <laughs> it's been a long time coming trying to make this video. Uh, lots of avoiding things and uh, yeah, it's just kind of interesting all the stuff that comes up when um, your higher self is guiding you to do something that your lower self does not want to do, your ego self. So anyway, hey, but I'm here. Um, so I would just like to start with, I, <laughs> I'm constantly driving around listening to podcasts and I always wonder to myself, um, if I was being interviewed, hmm, how would I answer that? So here's my answer to the question of, were you always an artist? Um, uh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> and uh, I think I always wanted to be an artist. There's a difference there. But I, my one of my earliest memories of um, creativity and wanting to create something was uh, I had been given a chalkboard, a beautiful big chalkboard with all, lots of new chalk. And I remember I had all these ideas in my head and I wanted to go get them out on the chalkboard. And whenever I drew something or attempted to create something on the chalkboard, it just felt lame and um, yeah, it definitely did not live up to my expectations. So I told myself I wasn't creative. Um, which is kind of funny <laughs> given how creative I really am. But I told myself I wasn't creative. I also had friends that could draw and that could create really cool things. Like back in my day, we created book covers for our books. And I had this friend, Joanne Patnod, that created the most beautiful um, paperback book covers. <laughs> and I thought she was super creative. Um, I also had another friend, Mary Jo, who could draw. Oh my goodness, she could draw so beautifully. And uh, so I had comparisonitis, I guess. Um, but I, in comparison, I felt like I wasn't creative. I, But what I've learned since, it's just that my creativity had not been exercised <laughs> enough yet. Um, everything is a muscle and just needs to be exercised. Um, but that was my earliest memory is no, I did not feel like I was creative, but I was drawn to all things creative. Um, and even though my I, I like to write and um, I was creative in that sense, um, and I dabbled in all kinds of creative activities uh, when I was younger and even as an adult, um, but my soul was always drawing me towards creative things, even so much so that even though my parents encouraged me <laughs> not to pursue writing or um, art as a as a degree, um, but to get something that I could, you know, be a real job, um, I ended up in advertising, which I was surrounded by creative people. So it was fantastic. It was like the best way to, um, like the best environment the, the universe could put me in. So I really believe our soul is always nudging us towards our highest good. And so putting me in that kind of creative envir environment was fantastic. Um, and my life was a journey from that point. But as you can see from that painting, those paintings right there, that I can create. <laughs> so I'll tell you more about me later, but at least that's my beginning introduction. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>